Well, he is accused of threatening to kill a police officer, then driving his SUV through the front wall of a police station. Yeah, this all happened last night in Havity Grace. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager is there surveying the damage and breaking down what this man is now charged with. Jeff. Cleanup continues here after the suspect jumped the curb in his SUV and drove straight into the lobby of the Havity Grace police station. His intentions were no secret. Police say 24 year old Timothy Call telephoned police and said he was going to the station to kill an officer. But when police showed up at his home in Battery Village, he drove at the officers and struck three vehicles in the process, including Sheila Key's new Chevy Trailblazer. And next thing I know, I heard this squealing loud noise, and then a boom! And I just said, oh my God, that's my car, that's my car. But Call wasn't finished. Police say he drove his mother, Chevy Captiva, now missing the front bumper, to the police station on Pennington Avenue. There was a parked car that was sitting right over there. Uh, he intentionally ran into that car as the officers were coming onto the lot. He backed up, jumped up on the curb there, drove straight through the front doors of the police department, ending up in the lobby. Call crawled out of the vehicle and confronted police outside where they tased him and took him into custody to face a series of charges, including attempted murder. The suspect's neighbors say he has a history of threatening behavior, but he had never taken it this far. My car was up almost until my house. He tore down the fence here, hit these people's car. Um, the lady over here's car, um, husband's truck was here. He just did a total, he just went, just all over the place. Paramedics transported call to Hartford Memorial for treatment after the crash, and he's currently in the custody of police. Reporting in Habit of Grace, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.